Okay, so here's the good old uh, Snellen chart. And excuse the camera shake, I've just had a coffee. Um, and I'm not, <laughs> I'm really not used to it, so I'm like, like that. So, okay, so when, when you go to the optician, you're going to have to look at one of these things. And I can never, ever see it when I go to the optician. Um, but in one of my videos, um, quite recently, um, I've got a little technique that I think might help here. Um, and that's to get as relaxed as possible. Uh, what I find is I've been walking kind of past the thing every now and then. Um, well, I walk past it a lot, but I've been looking at it now and then. Um, and I've been, oh, this is the most boring snail and chart in the world. I am so bored with this snail and chart. And it's just kind of getting you into a relaxed um, state and what, what I've been finding is when I just go Ugh. and I, it actually starts clearing in front of me um, what happens then there's a, there's a slight problem because this is something that you're actually meant to look at and you're meant to read so as soon as it starts clearing the you're meant to look at this and read it part of my brain kind of switches on um so it's being able to get round that and i think i can sort of get round it because i know in my head never mind about reading the letters it's just about letting it clear in front of you and then going on to the next thing because there's all these other techniques i've put up in my um, like strabismus series so it's just a little update on where I am uh, maybe something that can help you when you get to the optician and you've got to look at the Snellen chart um, so yep yeah, that's just my little five minute talk on that for all it's worth